Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Ghost Runner Project Hell DLC walkthrough, and this is level six called Beyond the Barricade. And good news, everyone. <laughs> There is no level specific trophy for this level. You are free to pull out all the tricks you have learned thus far. Use as many perks as you want to. I would recommend that you equip the perk that allows your surge to go through force fields. There is a perk for that and uh, you should have it at this point. <laughs> and make sure to equip it, it will make this level easier. This room is quite challenging, you saw me run in and take out the drone down at the big droid. Immediately turn around, take out the rifleman and then the two guys running up the ramp. Should be in a great position to die. <laughs> First shoot the guy up on the left, take out the two guys running up the ramp and take out the guy on the right. And since this is the last game, this... Uh, since this is the last normal level, all that remains after this is the final boss. This is quite challenging. Going into this room, I like to take it on counterclockwise. And be quick here. Jump up and boost out of the way because there are two snipers in this room. One of them is right there. And the other one is over here at the beginning of the room almost. Make sure to take him out. And here is why it's great to have the perk for that lets your search go through force fields. Because those guys running around down there with the batons, the orb for taking out their force fields is up here. And if you don't want to risk landing on one of them, it can be great to kill them before going up there. And as I said, no level specific trophy, just feel free to have as much fun as you can. If I had recorded this using any perks, I would have definitely used that one. And the reason I don't, anyone that is a veteran watching my videos or have watched my walkthroughs before knows that whenever I do a walkthrough, I usually... I try to always do them as bare bones as possible. I try to never use any upgrades or anything unless it's given to you as part of the story. That is because I always try to come up with strategies that are as easy as fo easy to follow as possible and uh, try to take skill out of the equation and I think if you manage to uh, come up with strats that can be used without using any additional perks and if the trophy or uh, the walkthrough doesn't revolve around yeah you have to go through the game as bare bones as you can for example as in Dishonored I did uh, the trophy mostly flesh and steel for not upgrading any abilities just using blink level 1. Uh, then I've always I did strats for that game that would make it as easy to follow as possible and get mostly flesh and steel and get through the game without too much suffering. And also if people if it is allowed to use any upgrades I have pro hopefully <laughs> made your journey through the game easier, hopefully a lot easier because that is usually the goal of a walkthrough. And if you can use any perks, go right ahead. <laughs> use them all, I say. But either way, this room is one of those rooms that is surprisingly hard. It may not come across as that in this video because I... I failed this room so many times, I became quite, quite able at <laughs> getting through it. There is a lot of running back and forth from the right to the left and left to right and back and forth and up and down. What you want to do is be quick, especially moving across here because there is that big droid shooting walls of lasers. 
and there is also a sniper there is always a sniper and as I've said before the snipers in this game aren't exactly as snipers usually are in games they are not super super quick to aim or to fire but they are a lot quicker than they usually are in games that's the one thing you can rely on when it comes to snipers that they aren't really a threat usually because they are so slow they are deadly but slow these guys said fuck it and decide we're gonna be fast and deadly best of two worlds and this is also one of those rooms that is quite inter or quite interesting that is a thing in both this DLC and the main game sometimes you have to kill all the enemies sometimes you don't uh, but either way having gotten through that room we have basically beaten this level at this point all that remains now is this little platforming section and then then all that remains is the final boss and uh, hopefully you uh, I managed to make your journey through this game a lot easier than it otherwise would be but either way that's the end of level 6 and I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in my next video where we will conclude this walkthrough so uh, until next time uh, this is the wolfman signing off <laughs>